What's going on guys, Reaper here, and welcome to Reaper's Papa Son Supply. So this is a video I've been meaning to get around to making for a little while now. Um, I've had a couple of customers ask me, how in the world do you wear the Montagnard loincloth? And that, guys, is a really good question. So today, I'm going to show you just how to do that. Order, one more, six more. Order, So first things first guys, for the sake of remaining warm, because this is a bit chilly out here today, and for the sake of remaining decent, I'm going to be demonstrating this wearing pants, because well, ain't nobody want to see that, especially the local wildlife. So anyway, you guys are probably going to notice that there's quite a bit of length to these loincloths, um, and there's a reason for that. So specifically, this one I think is about 13 feet. Um, so. The reason for that, and we'll show you as I demonstrate that, because you're going to want to have enough on each end to make your flaps, your front flap and your rear flap. So, the way it works is you may have, depending on your size and your waist, you may wind up with anything from 10 to 20 or so feet in length. Um, so... 13 feet, for example, would fit somebody who's roughly a size small to a medium, and then you'd have to go up from there, so you may get into 16, 18, 20, 24, as you go into a large, extra large, and so on. Now, with like an extra small, you could probably go all the way down to 10 feet and have enough length to wear these things. All right, guys, now to start, you're going to want to grab one end, doesn't matter which, and that's how you're going to start with that. Now, it doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed. Um, you can pretty much do this any which way, so when you start your wrap and everything, you can go around the right side or left side and use whichever hand. That doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is figure out, okay, how much do you want to overhang? Now, when you do this, you're going to want roughly enough hang that goes to your knees and maybe a little bit below. So once you get that started, you kind of just grab and hold. And you're going to want to wrap this up and under. Go between your legs and get that whole bit out and around. Now you want this to be kind of relatively straight as you do this, which can be kind of difficult if you don't have help. And of course, you know, I'm not sure how many of you guys want uh, somebody holding your flap, but <laughs> anyway, as you come up, you come through, and then you're going to want to wrap this whole thing around your waist. You come around, and once you kind of get that, it kind of holds in place, and then you're going to start doing your wrap. Again, make sure that you've got enough width here. Don't let it bunch up too much, but it's going to happen. You're going to come around. You're probably going to do roughly two wraps, depending on your length. And then once you get back around to the rear, <clears throat> so you've got it coming up through here, and this is where this is, this is fun. So as you can tell, you come up and it wraps this way or whichever way you go. You want to come around with your your other end and bring it up through. And you'll resituate and set it up and everything else, and then you'll you widen it out and create your flap. Now you guys can see I don't have much of a flap back here because I have most of the flap up here. So this is something you got to kind of work with a little bit to figure out your length. So you're going to want to do this a couple different times to figure out exactly how much you need for your flap. Now, keep in mind, because I'm doing this with pants on, it's taken up some of that. And I have put on a few pounds since the last time I wore this thing. So again, hold your flap about roughly where you want, how much you want. Come up, and then you're going to want to wrap around the 
front, creating that flap. And back around, right here. Coming around. Around again. And then, from back here, you come up from the bottom side. Wrapping it up through here. Bringing it out and over how you want it. Widen it out. And that creates your your flaps. So rear and front. Now it's almost kind of like, if you think about it, guys, if you've ever done it wearing a Swiss seat. Uh, that's another thing. Like with that, when you do this, when you first start, you don't have to hold it with your hand. You can actually take this piece, and if you got... So, this is what I do. Um, I don't free range wearing these things. I usually have a pair of boxers on underneath that I'll wrench up in there. So that way, if there's any mishaps or anything, this thing comes off or whatever... Um, I'm not completely exposing myself to everybody around. So if you do that, what you can do is you can take this flap, seat it right in there, you know, in the uh, waistband of your boxers or tidy whities whatever you guys wear, um, and let it sit there as you kind of do your first roll and flap and come around. So there's not too much to them. They're pretty easy. Like I said, you got to kind of play with them a little bit to figure out the length that you want for your flap. Now, like I said, my flaps are coming up a little short. Normally, they'd be down here past my knees on both ends. Um, but with pants on, you're going to take up some of that room. And, of course, like I said, you know, turkey season is now over, but uh, I still put on a few pounds. <laughs> but anyway, that's the reason for the length, guys. That kind of explains why they're up to 13 to 20 feet um, because you want that length in your knees and if you're a little bit taller from the waist down you know you may want to go with an extra length but well there you have it guys that's how you wear a montagnard loincloth as you can see there's not much to it and it's relatively easy uh, i would just suggest if you have one and you're trying to figure out how to wear it do a couple practice runs you know Figure out the length you need for the front flap and the rear flap and just kind of get that wrap down. Once you do that, it's, it's pretty much smooth sailing from there on out. That being said, guys, if you have an alternative way of how to wear a loincloth or a montagnard loincloth, don't hesitate to hit me up on our Facebook business page or Instagram, Reapers Papas on Supply, and let us know. Uh, I would love to revisit this and do a follow-up video or a sequel or a secondary way to wear the Montagnard loincloth. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, as always, stay frosty, ride or die, Reaper out.